Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, I will show you how to pass an array as parameter into a stored function or procedure in PostgreSQL language that is PLPGSQL. So guys, for that, first I will create a table in, in which I will store I will store the dummy value so that you can understand how it works and for that I will create table and I will create a function and I will show you so guys don't skip the video and watch till the end so guys first let's create a table like this create table the schema name is public dot testing I will take only one column here uh, col column name should be like uh, my values let it be of numeric type so the table will be created like this the table is created we can check it from here just go here and refresh it this is the table I've created with one column my values so table is created now let's create a function okay now I'll write create code for function that will accept a uh, a numeric array as parameter so let's write this like this create or replace function this is the syntax of writing function the schema should be public public schema test function and here will be the parameter list so parameter list uh, like p values I am taking one parameter and it is of numeric array so I am passing numeric array here now I am specifying the return type return will be a text message so upon successful or failure of the function it will let let's know and language must be plpg square plpg sql the language cost is 100 so from here my declaration section starts declare I will declare the variables as I need for now let's go to begin begin block here I will need one variable to check the length of the array so I am taking the variable v array length it will be of numeric type let's by default to store it zero and one more uh, variable I will need that is v message so success or failure message I need to show in output let it be of character character varying let it be of 100 byte and let's default null so for now I need this two variables now I'll uh, first I will uh, check the array length so I'll write like this the array length to get the array length here I will use an inbuilt function of PostgreSQL array length you can check more about it from Google array length array length is a function that takes two parameter one is array and second parameter is its dimension so p values is the array that uh, I am passing here in parameter this is my array and one is the dimension as the array of, uh, of one dimension so I am getting array length here as, like this 
let's check the array if the array length is more than zero that means if i am passing any value into array then only my loop will be executed that uh, extracts the value from array and put into the table that uh, tab dummy table that i have created it will put values into this table into this column my values so let's see if v array length is greater than 0 then what it does it goes inside uh, let's uh, now i'll take here for loop i'll make another video for for loop so this is the for now this is the syntax of for loop for i in 1 2 array length this is how we write for loop in PostgreSQL array length then loop so looping starts here and loop end so in between what I will write I will insert the values into array sorry into the table by ext extracting from the array so I will write insert statement I hope you know insert statement syntax insert into schema public dot table name is testing column is my values now the keyword is values specified here and the values values is array p values and with the index i so for first time when it executes the i ith index value will be stored and so on up to the length when it's greater than zero and it will execute that much time suppose i have given array of length five so the loop will be executed five times and five all the five values will be inserted into this table so here it's uh, uh, ended insert statement no need to uh, do my commit here so loop is ended here and after the loop ends let's put a message the message like uh, i'll i can write like this like in like this uh, array processed successfully and i can also append the value with length the length of the array the array array length so how it will uh, show the output if we are giving array length of 6 after processing it will show us the output array process successfully with length 6 so this is the way now if we are not passing anything into array so it will it must be 0 so the condition the, this condition will be false that is 0 not greater than 0 then it will come to else part in else part it it will show message like something like this array having no value no values okay so here this if condition is ended now i will simply return this message outside the message whatever stored in the message if it process array it must store this message if it's not process uh, processing array it it will store this message so i will return the message whatever it will be stored I, here I am not using any exception block if you need exception block in your code you can add that no so so this is body is successfully compiled now I will tell you how to select how to call these functions that is also important part so
so there are many ways to call the functions the simplest one is to go to the browser here go to function click on function or first refresh it you will have function here just expand it here is the function do right click on it and go to script and choose select script click on that so here we need to pass the uh, pass the parameters so i am removing these things from here so here must be a array an array here suppose i am giving array 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and last one 1 2 3 4 5 6 so like that this is the array of length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the length of the array is 7 and i am executing this and this is the parameter and let's it be like of a numeric i'm specifying here that this is of numeric array so this is how we call it let's select and call it it should return a message like this array process successfully with length 7 and after that we can do select star from this table and we can see all the values that we are giving into this array so so here the output like this array process successfully with length 7 okay so if to recheck if we are having the values inserted into the table or not let's do it select star from schema is public dot table name is testing select it we must have here all the values see all the values we have given here we have them now i will give some new value again so this is only one value it should return of uh, array process successfully with length 1 so it returned successfully and the message is the array process successfully with length 1 and let's check that into the table this one is also added now the another one uh, another way is to call this to not to specify anything here this is optional to specify the data type you can also call it let's let's change it to some random numbers into array so like this and again call it and we will again have those values into our table so again see here the function is successfully uh, executed now those values must be in our table so here are there here so till now 13 values are stored the last case was to check with uh, uh, without any value so it should give the message like this if i am not passing anything into that it should give array having no values okay so let's check it so this message has been written that array having no values since i have not given any values to it so the length of the array is 0 and it tells array having no values if i am if i give any value into it it will be successfully executed and see here is array process successfully with length 1 so uh, like this uh, i have taken here function you can also take uh, this in the stored processor as well and also you can process it process it so guys if you find the video helpful please like the video and subscribe my channel to get the video updates so thank you guys for watching let's meet let's meet in the next video with another topic till then take care bye bye